Right now, these labs are just absolutely swamped. Two thousand people were tested today, and many of them started lining up at midnight. The results are taking about seven to ten business days to come in. The research diagnosis of different diseases in our lab with breath started around five or six years ago. Diagnosing Alzheimer's disease with dementia, diagnosing lung cancer, diagnosing substance abuse. We make the sensor with a lot of cavities for the specific molecule we're trying to target. So once the specific molecule is present, it will be bonded to the sensor itself. It's like a lock and a key relation. That is, the sensor is the lock. The target molecule is the key. So when the key gets into the lock, that's how we sense it. That's how the resistance change can be detected. Well, the impact is enormous, because right now there's no instant or rapid diagnosis approach for COVID-19. We are talking about shrinking the test time from five to 10 minutes to one to two seconds. A dramatic game changer approach on COVID-19 test. We expect that those sensors can be used in public schools, in hospitals, in train stations, in bus stations, anywhere. This is humans versus virus. We want to essentially win as early as we can so that we can get out of this COVID-19 pandemic as early as possible.